Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to see a problem from volumes, that is from cylinders especially. Okay. So problem. A hollow cylindrical iron pipe is of length 28 centimeter. Its outer and inner diameters are 8 centimeter and 6 centimeter respectively. Find the volume of the pipe and the weight of the pipe if... 1 cubic centimeter of iron weighs 7 grams. Okay. So, let us consider a hollow cylindrical iron pipe. Let us consider an iron pipe. Let it be an iron pipe, say. Okay. So, here we are given a hollow cylindrical iron pipe is of length, is of length 28 centimeters and it's Outer diameter, outer diameter, okay. If you consider a hollow cylinder, you will be having the base and the top of this form, right. So, here we are given outer diameter, say capital D and inner diameter, okay. Let it be inner diameter, small d, r, 8 centimeter and 6 centimeter. Okay. So, here we have to find the volume of the pipe. The volume, the capacity of this pipe, the capacity of this pipe and the weight of this pipe. The weight of this pipe. So, here we are given that. 1 cubic centimeter, 1 cubic centimeter so we are given the 1 cubic centimeter of this iron weighs 7 gram so if 1 cubic centimeter weighs 7 gram then what could be the weight of this iron pipe? Let's see. So, here we are going to find this weight or the weight of this iron pipe using the volume of the pipe. Okay. So, we know that 1 centimeter cube is equals to 7 gram. The 1, one centimeter cube of this pipe, 7 gram. Then... By using the volume of this pipe, we are going to find the weight of this pipe. Okay. So, now coming to the problem. So, here we are given a hollow cylindrical iron pipe. Hollow cylindrical iron pipe okay of length 28 centimeters if you consider a pipe in horizontal position then this will be the height, uh, sorry, length, which is equal to 28 centimeters. When you consider the pipe in horizontal position, if you tilt it in vertical position, you'll have height h equals to 28 centimeters. Okay, so after tilting, the pipe will get or the length becomes height, I can say. Okay. And we are given the outer and inner diameters are 8 centimeter and 6 centimeter. Outer diameter, let us name it as capital D, which is equals to 8 centimeter and 
inner diameter let it be small d which is equals to 6 centimeter so given a hollow cylindrical iron pipe so we are given an iron pipe hollow cylindrical iron pipe okay so here outer and okay firstly we have to write length right length of the pipe when it is considered in horizontal position or when it is considered horizontally 28 centimeter that is height h equals to 28 centimeter okay and also we are given also given outer and inner diameters are 8 cm and 6 cm. So, outer diameter is 8 cm, inner diameter is 6 cm. That is, capital D equals to 8 cm and small d equals to 6 cm. We know that diameter equals to 2 times the radius. So, we could write it as 2 into capital R equals to 8 centimeters, then you'll get outer radius 8 centimeter by 2, 2 ones are 2 fours are. So, this equals to 4 centimeters. So, we are having capital R equals to 4 centimeter and again small diameter. The inner diameter equals to 2 times. The inner radius which is equals to 6 centimeter. So, from this you will get R equals to 6 centimeter by 2. 2 ones are 2 threes are. So, this equals to 3 centimeters. So, you got small radius or radius of the inner diameter um, or radius of the inner circle is 3 centimeter. Okay. So here what we have to find, we have to find the volume of the pipe and weight of the pipe if 1 cubic centimeter of iron weighs 7 grams. So in order to find volume of the pipe, we should have formula for volume of the hollow cylinder. Okay. Volume of the hollow cylinder. So, which is equals to so if you consider a hollow cylinder you will be having thickness into height. You need to find thickness into height so that you can find the capacity of the volume uh, the capacity of the cylinder hollow cylinder Okay, so in order to find the thickness, how you can find the thickness? So, the thickness of the cylinder looks like this, right? Okay, just nothing but consider area of outer circle with radius capital R. And consider area of 
inner circle with radius small r okay if you remove this smaller area from this bigger area then that could be the thickness okay see so this is the outer area of the circle right so now pi r square right this area of the outer circle pi r square so from this we are going to remove the area of the inner circle with radius small r so we are going to remove right fine after removing the inner circle from the outer circle we will get the thickness okay so here the thickness is pi r square minus pi r square that is pi capital r square minus pi small r square so here we have to find the volume of the hollow cylinder right since we know the thickness which is pi capital r square minus pi small r square so this thickness into height will be our volume of the hollow cylinder okay so now i could write it as pi r square so since this is area so we'll get square units minus pi small r square square units into height so for height you'll get only units h units i may say so this is equals to now we can take pi and square units common so you could write it as pi into capital r square minus small r square into square units into h units okay so this equals to pi into capital r square minus small r square into h units square square units can be written as unit square unit square into units is units cube okay so since you are having r square minus capital r square minus small r square which is of the form a square minus b square you could write it as a plus b into a minus b that is r plus capital r plus small r into capital r minus small r since you are having okay so this is of the form a square minus b square so you could write it as pi into capital r plus small r into capital r minus small r into h into units cube you can write it as cubic cu for cubic units cubic units okay fine so now we are having the volume of hollow cylinder formula Which is equals to pi into capital R plus small r into capital R minus small r into h into cubic units. Okay, so now it is easy to find the volume of the pipe. Okay, so now we can use this formula to find. the volume of the pipe pi into capital r plus small r into capital r minus small r into h into cubic units 
Okay. Since you are having radial, outer radius and inner radius and also you are having height H. So using this you can find the volume. Take pi 22 by 7 into capital R is 4 centimeter plus small r is 3 centimeter into capital R 4 centimeter minus small r 3 centimeter into 7 uh, h h is equals to 28 centimeter so this is equals to 22 by 7 into 4 centimeter plus 3 centimeter is 7 centimeter into 4 centimeter minus 3 centimeter is 1 centimeter into 28 centimeter okay 7 7 gets cancelled so you'll get 22 into 1 into 28 into centimeter into centimeter into centimeter is centimeter cube okay so this is equals to 22 into 28 centimeter cube Twenty-eight into twenty-two. Twelve are sixteen. Two two are four. Four plus one five. Five plus six eleven. One plus five six. So this equals to six hundred and sixteen centimeter cube. So the capacity of the pipe or the volume is six hundred and sixteen centimeter cube. Okay. Therefore, volume of the pipe is equal to 616 centimeter cube. So now we are going to find weight of the pipe. Okay. So here we are given weight of One centimeter cube of iron equals to seven grams. Then weight of six hundred and sixteen centimeter cube of iron pipe will be equals to six hundred and sixteen into. 1 centimeter cube. Now replace 1 centimeter cube by 7 gram. Since we are having 1 centimeter cube of iron is 7 gram. So you would replace 1 centimeter cube with 7 gram. Okay. Fine. So now. 616 into 7, 76 are 42, 7 are 7, 7 plus 4, 11, 76 are 42, 42 plus 1, 43. So this equals to 4312 grams. Okay, so now you can change the units. To kilograms since we know that 1 kilogram equals to 1000 kg uh, sorry 1 kilogram equals to 1000 grams okay so from this you'll get 1 by 1000 kilogram equals to 1 gram okay so now if you'll multiply this with 1 by 1000 kg you'll get the weight of the pipe in kgs or you can write it as 4312 into 1 gram okay without getting any confusion okay so 
4312 into 1 is 4312. Okay. So now it will be easy. If you will write like this, it will be easy to calculate. So now replace 1 gram with 1 gram with 1 by 1000 kg. Okay. So this equals to 4312 by 1000 kg, which is equals to 4.312 kg. So we have converted into kilograms. Okay. So finally we got the weight of given pipe. So therefore the weight of the given pipe is 4.312 kilograms. Okay, this completes the problem. So here we are asked to find the volume and weight of the given pipe. Okay. So we got volume 616 centimeter cube and weight 6.312 kg. Fine. So we have seen a problem in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.